Today's Dvar Torah is in memory of Ephraim Yachman, our downstairs neighbor of 16 years, who along with his commanding officer and close friend were killed in the battle in Aza on Wednesday night with many friends injured. And may this learning be in memory and in honor of all those who've fallen, and especially Ephraim Yachman. May it be as a refuash lema, quick recovery for all the soldiers who are injured and all those who have been injured in this war. May it be as a protection for all of the soldiers in all of our fronts right now, for all of Am Yisrael inside of Israel and outside of it. May God willing, may this whole thing not be in vain and we have a quick nechama, something tangible, something good, something that can make us happy and proud and to overcome this immense sadness and hardship that we are all feeling these days. This week's parasha, Parashat Vayechi, ends the book of Bereshit, in my opinion, the most interesting book of the Torah, the book that tells us what the world owes to God. God creates the world, the story of Noah, Sheva Mitzvot Bnei Noah, the commandments for the Noahites, goes on to telling us what we as Jews owe to the world, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, what our connection is to the world, what our connection is to God, and what we are commanded to do. And the Torah goes on to tell us in this week's parasha that Yaakov is dying and he would like to bless his children as his custom, as his father did before Yitzchak and his father before that, Avram, did in the end of their days, they bless their children. There's two sets of blessings. One is Yaakov calls all the tribes in and he wants to bless them. And here we learn something tremendous. Their blessings are wildly different one from another and they have very little to do with each other in their blessings. They're telling them their personalities and what they each need. And this is something that we need to internalize tremendously these days, which is unity does not mean we're all the same. Unity does not mean we all have the same path. It does not mean we all agree. It does not mean that we are all going in the same exact way. But it means that we are all a family and that we all know how to work with each other. That we know that there are dynamics inside the family and how we get along is an unbelievably important thing. And it's important to remember that, especially in these days that we are still fighting with being divided. And remember that unity is our strongest power everywhere. Remembering that and internalizing that and learning from our mistakes of 2,000 years of exile because of this hate and division. And learning that goes back all the way back to the 12 tribes that we so easily can be divided. But when we're united, nothing can break us apart. The second set of blessings that actually comes beforehand is the blessing that Yaakov blesses his grandchildren, Menashe and Ephraim. Menashe and Ephraim are Yosef's kids. Menashe the old, is the older one. Ephraim is the younger one. They walk in and Yaakov comes to give a blessing. Yosef brings Menashe to Yaakov's right hand and, and Ephraim to his left hand. And Yaakov puts his hands as such that his right hand is on top of Ephraim's head. And he says, Hamalach ha'goel something that you may be familiar with as a prayer that we say before we go to sleep or before we put kids to sleep. Hamalach ha'goel otimi that the Malach that is protecting me, the angel that has been watching over me, he should watch over these children in the name of my father and my father's father. They should be called in my name. 
and they should be plentiful. And Yaakov, Yosef sees this and he quickly is trying to change his father's hand and saying, you put your hand on the wrong kid, Menashe is the older one. Yaakov tells him, he says, I know what I'm doing. Ephraim is going to be greater. Ephraim is going to be greater than Menashe. And then he blesses them and he says like this. And he blesses them in this day to, to be said. When a father wants to bless his children in Am Yisrael, this is what they will say. God should put you like Ephraim v'minashe. And this is an important, important thing. It's important that these are brothers, that when the older kid is being put down as second, or the younger kid is being risen up and given more responsibility, they respect each other, they love each other. The book of Bereshit is filled, 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 filled with rivalry of brothers, Cain and Hevel, Ishmael and Yitzchak, Yaakov and Esav, inside the 12 tribes. Finally, we have brothers that get along, that when one gets an important job, the other one is proud of him. This is not a competition. We all have our part to play, and we all should do it well, and we all should do it right. The next time that we have this in the Torah is Moshe saying, but Aaron, my brother, is, is bigger than me. He should get this honor. And God says, Aaron will be proud. Aaron will be honored to see his younger brother succeed. That is what we need to strive for. We need to strive for each one hoping that the other one does their best and be proud of what the other one's doing and not say, why are they not doing more? Why are they taking my part? Or why, why am I not getting enough? Remembering that we're standing up for each other. This Friday night when we bless our children, the boys, we say, Yesimcha Elohim kefrayim v'chim nashe. For girls, we say, Yesimech Elohim kesara rivka rachel v'le'a. We bless the girls in the name of our mothers. We bless the boys in the name of Ephraim and Menashe, who are blessed that they have unity, that they are not rivals, that they know how to get along. And that is what we need more than ever today. We need to learn how to get along. We need to learn how to love each other, respect each other, be happy for each other, be proud of each other. And we need to remember that everybody's discussing what happens the day after, what happens the day after the war is over and all the implications in the political side. All of that is minor in comparison to what started this all, which is the division in Am Yisrael. The division that we had, that we did not love each other, did not respect each other, weren't proud of each other, weren't happy for each other. And this is what causes all of this. We need to remember that because the day after, if we go back into those old traits, we're finished. We need to remember, Yesimcha Elohim Kefrayim V'Menashe. Shabbat Shalom V'Binyan Yerushalayim T'Nuchamu.